Hi, this is Eric Martin with Board Game Geek. I'm here at Thomas Coe from Asmodi, and we're going to be looking at Crossing uh, by Yoshiteru Shinohara. I remembered it just for a second. Okay. Let's hope you can give an overview of the game. Yeah, it's a very, very short game. It's three to six player, ten minutes play. Mm -hmm. And it's really a very fun, simple uh, core mechanism here uh, uh, that uh, like suits to children as game as well. So it's really like a very short 10 minute game uh, with a lot of bluff opportunism. Okay. The rules are very simple. You are just, uh, so you are a kind of uh, all um, race, the elf, the dwarves, and they are, you, were, you were living in harmony Okay. until uh, there were uh, gems popping up from mushrooms around the crossing town and then okay. gems are valuable so the harmony is no, not so very good so you are trying to collect them and get, grab them before the other. Uh, the basic term okay. is that everybody is uh, putting his finger up and count at three, one, two, three, and then you point one of the three mushrooms. Well, three if it's a four-player game. It's one less than the number of players. Okay. So, yeah. And uh, if one player is pointing, only one, then he can take and put it on his character. Okay. If there is two players pointing, nobody gets nothing. Okay. okay. Then you, you begin to collect and gems. three or more and no one gets it. Yeah. You have to yeah. be alone. Yeah. Okay. To be alone. Then it starts a new turn in every place where you have zero, you can put Two, and then any place where there is already gems, you, you add one. And then you start again, one, two, three, but you have other options. Okay. So either you point on that and then you are the only one, it's fine, you get the new gems, or two, and then you get nothing, but you can point on other, another player, then you get his gem if you are the only one to point on it. Okay. So if there is two people pointing on the same because uh, you have a lot of gems and you want to take it, then nobody gets it. Okay. A player can protect his gem, saying, okay, I'm, not, I'm, uh, I'm protecting the gem, so if somebody pointing on it, then he doesn't get it. Then the gems are set aside and you keep it, and it's safe. Okay. No. But you have to travel to make it safe. So the next turn, you will not do anything. Okay. And you start again the next turn that you can point on. So it's really like a very fun uh, bluffing mechanism where, okay, okay, we are two to point because if somebody gets a lot of gems here, then maybe two people will be attractive, but they are canceling each other. Mm -hmm. So do you take the, the risk to point on another and collect more, or do you want to protect, but it costs you one turn? Okay. Uh, so at the end, uh, the collection is that if you, you have four colors, this one is two points, the white one, and the other are, if you make a set, then it's five points, and if you don't manage to do a set, then it's one point each. Yeah. Okay. So basically that's the game, it's really, really, really fun uh, central mechanism that works really nice with, uh, with children and all people. All right, thanks for the overview, Thomas. Thank you.